So these windows are going to be basic trim. They, they wanted, to, they gave me a picture and that's what's going to be uh, they, very, very Shaker-esque. And um, it's going to have a header, um, a bottom. It's not going to have a, uh, a stool or uh, it's just going to have that bottom apron and the top header and then the two pilasters left and right. And the top and bottom pieces, those are going to be one inch thick and the pilasters are going to be three quarter inch thick. So it's going to give, um, it's going to have a nice defined uh, depth difference. That's going to look good. Now I made them three and a half inches. So that's seven inches uh, total width beyond the opening. Plus there's going to be a little extra. So I'm going to have to, not only am I going to have to account for the overhang on each side, but I'm actually going to go one eighth of an inch farther. So when I measure, I'm going to leave a one eighth inch space around the window. So that's a, a quarter inch, right? So I'm going to, me I'm going to do some um, calculating here, but this is what it's going to look like. So you got a left pilaster, you got a right pilaster, you have a top header, not going to be any molding in between there. That's it. So these are both, these are all three and a half inches. may not be the same, or they're probably not going to be the same. 70 inches. Let's see how this is. Oh my god. 69. Okay, so I just um, cleared this up. We're, we're good to go. We're a three quarter inch overhang on each side and that's going to put us pretty tight over there in that corner. Uh, I'm just going to take my laser and I'm just going to uh, mock it up real fast and put a laser on it just to see how it's looking vertically and horizontally. All the pieces, so it's just a cutoff. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go on my mark and I'm going to put it right there where it needs to be. And then I'm going to use my um, pencil and mark the line to the other side. Pretty good idea. That's to the So I'm going to go to my middle layout line, hit that. Now there's a frame member that goes along the bottom, or the top I should say, the bottom of this drywall. There's a frame member, so I'm going to hit that. So we did that at the shop. It's going to be just like that. Okay. All right, again, I, I basically have to bend this piece just a little bit in order to get that huh, reveal to 
be good. I'm just gonna bring this up so you can see what it's doing. All right, so this guy here, if I left this out, see how crooked that is? We don't want that to be crooked like that. So if you take the a shim and just push it in, make it so that it's square, go right in that shim, and then when I cut the shim out, it'll stay. That's good, right? Now, this guy will actually get cut out with the razor blade right there so that when they pop it, you can see it. I'm trying to maintain that one eighth inch reveal, but there are some areas where this wall just, I mean, there's so much wiggle in these window areas. It's hard to keep them, you know, aligned, but this looks good. And you can see how nice and square that is. and square that is so now what they'll do is they'll caulk this and then when they paint everything they're going to sand inside here and then um, you know do a nice caulk on all this and then when they paint this along with everything else it's going to be really clean looking yeah and this is not something that I normally do this trim style but um, you know she showed me a picture and she really liked it, so heck, who am I to say? Um, normally I would put something on top. Um, it'd be done a little bit differently, but this actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> 